Then you proceed to stick it to said female part. Hey! You don't want to be a dork, do you? Of course not. That's why we're making this video today. This should be your last resort. So today we're going to show you how to properly mount and hide a microphone and even a recorder on a body. And Kara will be joining us later. You'll, yeah, you'll get to see her with her clothes off. That'll be the best part of the video. Yeah. But for now, you just got to deal with me. Whoa. Let's start with the basics of lavalier microphone. I'm going to assume this is all about lavalier mics because you don't have to stick a shotgun mic to your body. The common way of doing it is to have it on a clip that then clips to your shirt. Mistake number one, t-shirt with clip on it. Get rid of the stupid t-shirt. At least wear something like this so you have something to clip onto or something like this. I mean, the more you have something to clip onto, the better. I mean, this is much better to, than a t-shirt if you just, come on, be a little more creative with what you wear. The best scenario is a shirt where the buttons go all the way down so you have a whole bunch of area to put the clip on Let's say, number one, it's classier. And number two, you have a lot more to work with as far as how to hide a microphone. Even better is to have a shirt where the color or the design of the shirt hides the microphone. Like right now I have a black microphone on a black shirt. You can hardly even see it. Or if I had a shirt that had a complex design on it that helps hide the microphone, that's optimal also. So keep that in mind, to have a shirt that buttons down and where the color and the design of the shirt helps hide the microphone if it's gonna be on the outside. Now there are several options as, to far, as far as how the clip goes that clips the actual microphone on the shirt. One is to have a basic clip like this. Now you'll notice this particular one helps um, raise the microphone, elevate it off the clip. So it's actually you know, floating off the clip. The last thing you ever want is to have the tip of the microphone touch your clothing because then it's gonna sound like a thunderstorm. Never, that's the, the number one rule of lavalier mics is never ever have the tip of the microphone touch anything. Your hair, your, 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 your skin, your clothing. Okay, um, so let's try some different clips here. Here's the first clip that elevates the microphone off the clip so it's floating in the air. Now here's another kind of clip which is really cool. This one has a square hole in it. I don't know if you can see that. And these little things here clip into the little hole like that. So it's kind of similar to that, similar pr principle. But the cool thing about this is, let me get a microphone here. What you do is you, you clip the cord of the microphone into that little space. And then that, see how the microphone is elevated off the clip? So now I can just clip it there like that. But let's say you want to have the clip for some reason, this way. Well, because this is a square hole, you can take the clip out and point it this way, which is really cool. You know, so always point the mic towards your mouth if possible. So that's kind of cool that you have the able to turn the, the microphone in whatever direction you want. This also comes in skin colored right here. They come in different colors, white, black, skin color. Now something else that this is really cool for, which I don't think anybody's ever used, I'm wearing a light colored shirt just to show this off, but I would normally use a dark colored shirt to hide it, but the idea is, okay, you've got your, you've got your um, little thingy here, and um, here's your microphone. So this fits right into a buttonhole. I don't know if anybody's ever done this, but look at that. Fits right into a buttonhole, really cool. So that's another thing that you can do to mount this thing if you have a tight buttonhole. <laughs> <clears throat> they also make a clip with space for three different microphones that you can place on there at the same time. So if you want to have backups or record three different sources for whatever reason, you can have up to three microphones going on one clip. Another thing is this. I don't know what you call it. I guess it's an earring clip, I guess you call it, because it's like an earring. You put your microphone on here, and then this, you clip it to your shirt, wherever you want. I mean, you can put it anywhere you want on your shirt and the microphone then goes in there. So that's another way to do it. Another version of that is instead of a hole, because you don't want to poke holes in your clothes all the time, is this thing. This is magnetic. So what you do is you put your, your microphone on here, on this part, 
And this part is metal. And that goes inside your shirt, underneath your clothes. And then the microphone can just clip to the outside and you can turn it in whatever direction you want. Um, they also have a little loop on here so you can actually have it dangle as a, as a necklace, but that's kind of stupid because it's just gonna be dangling around and banging into things. But this is a magnetic clip thing, which is really cool. Another way of attaching it, and they, these come in different colors. These are called vampire clips. They have two very sharp little pins on the back here and uh, you clip your microphone to the front of it and then you just clip that to, with its two little teeth, into your clothes. That's called a vampire clip and they come in different colors. When you buy equipment, you always, they always have the cords with these things. This is the most valuable thing you could ever have. If this is what it takes to attach it to yourself somehow, I always go everywhere with twist ties. A better way of hiding a microphone, lot some people don't want to hide it, but if you want to be a little more professional, it's always best to just not see the microphone. So that would mean underneath the clothing. Another reason you would want to have the microphone underneath your clothing is if it's windy. You can't have it on the outside because anything that touches the, the tip of that microphone, including wind, it's going to sound like a, a thunderstorm. So you have to protect the tip of the microphone from everything. And for microphones being placed underneath of shirts with men that have chest hair, yeah guys, you have to shave your chest. Male chest hair is very, very coarse and stiff. And when it touches the microphone, it is like tree branches. <laughs> Not only that, but when your shirt brushes back and forth over chest hair, it's like pulling a tarp over a bunch of branches. <laughs> it makes it unusable audio, audio wise to do that. So you gotta shave off your chest. And also I suggest when you, for anybody, when you stick a microphone to skin, use alcohol prep pads. I always have a whole box of these ready to go. And when you travel, always have some of these with you to clean sweat and oils that are on the skin. So sticky stuff can stick. Now you'll remember in a previous video I did a few years ago on how to mount a microphone underneath your clothing if it's really windy. An old shoe, it's worn in. But it's not fireworks. And today I'm going to show you how to windproof a microphone. Here, I'm going to stick the other one just like this, going closer. Lit, but still pointing out. There. Stick it there. And that's it. Now it's underneath your shirt, and it should be a lot quieter now. The tape I recommend the most for that is gaffer's tape, not duct tape. <laughs> Don't ever use duct tape. Gaffer's tape is what you want to use. And the one that I like the best is Polykin 510 Premium Gaffer's Tape. This is the one that I like a lot. You can get it online. I'll see if I can find the link and give it to you below, but th this is uh, the best one that I use. So that's with a t-shirt. There's a lot of downsides acoustically to wearing a t-shirt other than being a not the styliest clothing there is, but it's covering up the microphone and there's no clear shot from the microphone to your mouth. You wanna have it kind of open. Now I have an open area. If you look down and you can actually see the microphone, that's good. So right now I'm looking down and I can see the microphone, which means it's looking up at me. You can't, well, I guess you could Sorry. see. <laughs> if you can't see it, that's good. Anyway, so the idea is if you, the, the speaker can see the microphone, you have an open area here that's where the microphone is able to breathe and look at your, your mouth and you can hear it. If you got it covered up with a t-shirt or anything like that, and we'll get to that in the women's clothing in a second too, that's not optimal to have it because then it's gonna show because you got to cover, you got something over the microphone. You're never gonna sound as clear and bright. So try to have an opening if you can. Now there's different ways of attaching the microphone to your body. Like for example, here, you've got something called a sticky. You literally stick the microphone to it. You stick that to your body. Here is something called undercovers. This is a two part thing. They have fuzzy things that you stick on top and then they have the sticky things that go underneath. Well, that's just what I used. Okay, so here you go. Same thing that I did with your skin, but you stick it underneath your clothing like that, and then you put your felt over top of that. So that can go underneath your clothing like that. Here's another company with something similar. It's called Ursa Circles. These are stickier than the Rye Coats, but I never use that stuff. Now they have other things too here. Okay, this is skin colored, it's silicone, and they make these for different brands of uh, microphones. Like I use the COS 11D a lot. 
So what this does, you see that mark, that, that split? That's where your microphone goes, and it's now inside of this circle here, and now nothing can touch the microphone because it's protected by this raised barrier, and now this then gets stuck to your body like this, um, which is okay. I mean, it does. this works also, but the microphone tip is aiming at this blockage. So personally, I would just take some scissors and cut out the top like that. So now the microphone has an open shot to your mouth. Then they have this thing like here where the microphone goes inside of another version of something and then you have it's poking through there and you have like these little silicone uh, things protecting the microphone so it's not going to be touching anything. And then they have this thing here. This is another one. This is by uh, Bubble Bee. So what you do is you put your microphone in there, you stick it in the back end like that and it starts poking through there and then you've got this wire thing so it's just poking its little head out there and the wire protects it from the clothing so you've got it on you and then the wire keeps the, the clothing from touching the microphone head so this is another fan and then they have these sticky things here that then stick on the back of this or double stick tape and then that sticks to your body this is another version of it so you've got your this is hard plastic it's two pieces that clip together and then you put your microphone inside there like that and it clips in place they make them for specific microphones make sure you get the one for the right brand so now the microphone this is a really good one because the microphone is totally held in place it's formed for that microphone and you've got this metal loop which is uh, protecting the outside of the mic and then it comes with this sticky thing so the sticky thing attaches perfectly to the back of this thing I'll put the links for everything down below if I can find them. And then that clips to you or your clothing or wherever. And it's pretty tight. There's also another one by Rode. It's called Invisilab. It's another silicone thing that you can stick up to two microphones through and it has sticky backing that you can stick on the back. So then they have these things here. They're called Ursofomies or Hush Labs, the same thing. It's just foam with a, with a hole in it. And then what you do there is, yeah, it's very pretty obvious. You stick your microphone in the hole until it comes out the other end. There. Now the microphone's sticking out the hole, and then you get some tape. This is really kind of simple. You just stick the tape to your body, and there you go. I mean, that's another way to see, see how you got the foam. Kind of, and again, the foam cushions it, so it's got a barrier there. Now, again, I would put some double stick tape on here to make the clothing stick to your so this clothing doesn't go bang, bang, bang on your body. If you want to have skin colored tape, you call it moleskin. This is a uh, fuzzy. It's fuzzy and it's skin colored. So you can get this at any drugstore. You pull the sticky back off. You put that on there. So now you've got skin colored um, sticky stuff and it's fuzzy, so if something touches it, it's not gonna cause any sound. This is actually a really popular thing with professional uh, people in Hollywood who use this stuff, is uh, skin colored, sticky stuff. Um, so what does that ring a bell? Skin colored, sticky stuff. Band-Aids, Band-Aids are another great way of mounting something that's skin colored to your body. I've done that a lot, I did that when I travel, and this is, you can get Band-Aids anywhere. If you're traveling and you're in a pinch and you want something sticky, um, just be sure to make sure that the padding is not just over the microphone because then the microphone is going to slip in and out. You still need, I, I just use the sticky part of the, the band-aid to hold everything in place. As you know, I hide things on my head, under my hair and things like that. The tape to use is medical tape. The kind that I use is called Blenderm or Transpore by 3M. I have a whole box of these. I go through these so much. This is what the professionals use. You can get it at any drugstore. You can order it online and you can't even see it. It's invisible, which is really great. Here's another thing that is made for sticking things to your body that's double-sided, really sticky. This is meh. This is for toupees. It's, uh, this is top stick. This is very, this is actually used by Hollywood people for sticking things to your body. That's 
you know, skin. This is double stick tape meant for holding toupees to your bald, sweaty head. So this is really good to use for that. If you want something super sticky that's ridiculously sticky, um, Joe's Sticky Stuff. It is really, really sticky. Double-sided, gooey stuff that you can stick anything to anything with. Now, as you know, I had a microphone in my hair. I've showed you this in a previous video right here. That's the microphone right there using the medical tape. Uh, it looks like that the mic is touching my, my hair is touching my mic, but it's really not. Uh, the, the hair kind of swoops over the mic, so it's nothing is touching the microphone. If the hair was touching the microphone, you'd be hearing which you don't want. So be aware of that. I mean, there's, there's a lot of uh, downsides to try to hide it in your hair. You gotta make sure the situation is just right. There are other ways to hide microphones um, on your head. One of them is this thing here. These are called ear mounts for lav mics. So this is a whole set of, these are things that are used to mount a lavalier mic to your ear. And what you do is you run the cord of the mic through here and then you clip it to your ear and it just sticks out here. And if you have hair that hides it, then you have a microphone right there near your ear. So that's another place to hide a microphone is right here on your ear, either below it or above it, sticking out the top. You can stick it out through the top too, right here. You know, so you have a microphone sticking out to the top. So that's another way. Um, I don't use this. I like it better on my forehead. But any, the whole idea is to get a microphone as close to your mouth as possible. Remember this thing I showed you in the last video? It's a head, it's an earphone mic where you actually clip the thing to your ear and it holds the microphone really close to your mouth. This is what speakers on stage, te the TEDx talks and stuff like that. So the microphone is constantly close to your mouth. So no matter what, if you, if you don't mind seeing the mic, that's the best way to, to get the best sound is to have the microphone right by your mouth. Um, but generally, you want to have it as, you know, as close to your mouth as possible, but not be touching anything. So think of those are the two rules. As close to your mouth as possible, aiming at your mouth, and not touching anything. There are people who clip mics to their, um, what do you call this, lapel? What is this? collar and they clip it so it's like aiming away from the mouth or sideways or something and that unless i know omnidirectional mics are supposed to pick up in all directions but if you have it aiming at your mouth you've got more percentage of the pickup pattern of the mic aiming at your mouth so always try to have it aiming at your mouth so you can clip it to your collar your lapel your your shirt your um, flappy thing here uh, you can have it on your chest, on your hair, on your ears. There's so many. What are you laughing at? It's a pocket. <laughs> a pocket. Yeah, I call it a flappy thing. Another great way of mounting a microphone is obviously glasses. It's a frame that you can mount stuff to. I have a little microphone right here in the corner, and I have the wire running along the inside of the glasses. It's stuck there with Joe's sticky stuff. And it's a clear shot from the microphone to your mouth. What you're hearing right now is the actual microphone that you're seeing recording my voice. Outside, you can use sunglasses. Indoors, you could use reading glasses. This is a great way of getting a microphone close to your mouth. And since American guys are so obsessed with baseball caps for some reason, even in doors, you've got the perfect place to put a microphone. Stuck underneath the brim is a perfect little overhead boom mic and I run the cord along the edge with Joe's sticky stuff so it's removable, it doesn't hurt the hat. And it's perfect, it's actually closer to your mouth than an overhead boom mic. You've got a clear shot from the microphone to your mouth. This is what it sounds like right now. This microphone is what you're hearing going into my recorder. So for those of you who don't feel relevant unless you're wearing a hat as a social influencer, here you go. And I guess if you put it on backwards like a lot of guys like to do, I guess you could put a microphone right here, hide it, just make sure it's not touching anything. And now the moment we've all been waiting for, how to attach a microphone, a recorder, and a wireless system to a human female. And here she is, our model of choice, our all-purpose model, Kara. All right, hi there. Hi, am I all here? I think so. Good enough, yep, yep. All right, so. When we attach microphones to women, it's a lot easier than men because they have certain body parts that make it so much more great for a microphone to have a clear shot to the mouth. And that would be this area here. Pretty much every video you've ever seen Kara in where she talks and has a microphone on her, this is where we always place the microphone. Now obviously, you could try to put it in the hair, but 
again, you cannot have the hair touch the tip of the microphone. So this is always the best way that I found with her that it works. So you get your medical tape, you cut off about an inch like this, then you proceed to stick it to said female part. Just below the area where you're going to see it, this microphone tip is not touching anything because she's curving away from the microphone and it's just pointing straight up to her mouth and you have this perfect protection area. And now when you let go, there is nothing that you can see, but it has a perfect clean shot right up to her mouth, which makes it perfect for placing a microphone. So you cannot see the microphone right now. So now we have the cord coming out down here and we just tuck it under all the way around and where does it go because she's open here you can see all that well first thing you want to do is attach the cord and make sure it doesn't fall out so you either tape it back here or what i like to do is wrap it around it loop it around a couple times so it can stay there and now we've got the recorder or the wireless unit the best place to put it is right there and there's lots of ways you can creatively think of putting it there but i'm going to show you i mean obviously you can tape it medical tape is really good you just tape it underneath of there like that <laughs> that's kind of cool um you won't see it because she's got hair there um anyway so i'm going to show you different ways of attaching uh, recorders and wireless units to different parts of the body. Another spot to hide a microphone on a bikini top or a sports bra or something like that is the strap. You can just tape it right there like that or you could have it pointing out like that or like that. This is a good spot right here but generally the best spot is in there the perfect hiding spot. Now a shirt like this is obviously not as optimal acoustically for a microphone because it's all covered up and the microphone has to listen through the fabric to get to the mouth. And even though this one looks cool, this one's even worse because this fabric is thicker than the last one. So the microphone has to listen two or three times harder to even hear what she's saying through this fabric. So that's not as good. Now you could put the microphone up here, poking up through the collar or something, but underneath there yeah it's it still works i mean we've done it but it's just not going to be as clear this is really good if you're doing beach things or sports stuff or things like that sports bras sports tops are really really good for microphone placement and if you're doing fitness videos or just in the kitchen or anything these are really good for having a microphone, having a clear shot to the mouth. Well, the one with this type of scoop, there are some with lower scoops and then higher scoop. Names, right. But I think right. this one's perfect. This is the nice middle ground. Right. And it's really good because, again, as long as the microphone, you look down and you can see the microphone and it's looking right back at your mouth, that's perfect. And something like this works really well, too, because it is nice and open for the microphone to hear what the mouth is saying. There's no obstruction here. So I'll give you some ideas here. These are different things that you could wear. Obviously, you could wear totally covered up all the way to your neck, like a T-shirt or anything like that. It's just realize that if it's covered up, you're going to be a little bit more muffled sounding. You can still bring out some of that with EQ and make it a little brighter, which what you're going to have to do when it's covered up. But it is still usable. It's not like you can't wear something that covers you completely up. We just want to give you ideas of the optimal situation for having a microphone hear what the mouth is saying. When a woman has a shirt on or a dress or something and you want to hide the recorder or the wireless unit on her body, then a good way to put it is underneath the shirt, obviously, and that would be requiring something like this. This is a strap. This is what they use in Hollywood. There is a pouch in the back of these things that you can put the recorder in and then you just wrap this around her body. So I'm gonna put it on her back like right here and then you wrap the strap, now turn around. Wrap the Velcro nice and tight so it attaches. So you can't see this underneath the clothing. Here we have the mic pack, the recorder, or the wireless unit attached right there on her back. So when she puts a shirt on, you won't be able to see it anymore. Lots of other places to hide things like this on a body, so let's show you those. If she's wearing a tight dress and this area is showing, then another good place to hide stuff is the thigh, which is underneath of the dress. So here we have another Velcro-based band with a pouch in it that you can then put your recorder into and then attach it to her leg. Obviously, the recorder would be best in the inside area and then you just wrap it around and Velcro it 
like that. So then when you have a tight dress on, you can't really see it. So that's a really good place to hide something. And when you have a really tight dress like this and you can see everything, including even if there was a band right here, you would still see it because it's just so smooth here. A good place to put it, anything, would be down here by the ankles. This is another place they have straps for ankles too. So you can see I have the wireless unit or the recorder right here. It goes into its little pouch and then you just run the cord all the way up. So this is another great place to hide a recorder, a wireless unit when you have a long tight dress. All right, so there's a few ways to hide a microphone, a recorder, and a wireless unit. This is how they do it professionally in Hollywood. There's so many other ways, and obviously the more creative you are, the ways are endless. Just don't use duct tape, guys. Duct tape and skin do not go together. Do it, people really use duct tape? Oh, they use it for everything. It's, it's <laughs> it, Use gaffer's tape at least, but use the medical tape if you can. Anyway, so hopefully you got something out of it, and uh, be creatively inspired to do it your own way. There's so many ways to do it. The ways are endless. Uh, next week we're going to have another audio related video. Fun. And uh, did you have an okay time? I had a blast. I think it's they fun. I think they did too. Oh. Uh, so I hope you had a good time guys. We'll see you next week for another audio related video. Until then, have a great week. Yes. Bye-bye.